I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be filming my night routine. I thought I did one of these recently, but I think I filmed one back before I even moved here. It's weird how I can film like one type of video and then I think that I've recently done it. And in actuality, it's been months. So I thought I would do an updated one. My mornings are usually more consistent than my night routines because sometimes I could get home a lot later. I could be going out with friends. It's actually a Friday night. <laughs> And I'm probably not doing anything too exciting, but I'm gonna give some like tips and tricks on how I like to wind down my like life saviors when it comes to sleeping at night, um, which I will talk about and just bring you through my night. Cause I usually don't film at night. Like I do sometimes, but I'm definitely more of a morning. I'm a morning person. I'm an early bird, you know? I do like the nights, but usually during the week I'm in bed by like before 9 p.m. usually. I love knowing that I can be in bed and just chill out and not have to get back up and like close the house. The later it gets I still think to myself oh I have to close everything up which is not that much effort. Anyway so it's currently 5 14 p.m. I've had an okay productive day. Today's a Friday like I said so tomorrow's a Saturday so it's not a work day. I pretty much work every single day. I'm just gonna write in my calendar because I just got an appointment. I have a super busy week next week. My weeks are about to get very, very busy. Like I said, November is a bit of a hectic month, but I just need to write in my appointment. Sometimes my weeks can be so quiet and I think, oh, I'm so bored. And then the next week is just so hectic. And I'm like, I don't have enough hours in the day to get everything done. We'll see how we go. Like I said, it's five o'clock. Um, I just had a smoothie because I was very hungry. And I think what I should do is clean up a bit. One of my biggest tips, honestly, is try and do a quick clean before you go to bed or a quick clean the night before. It just sets you up so much better for the next morning. I don't always do this, but I try to because even just like wiping down the bench and having like a clean kitchen makes the biggest difference in the morning. I'm the type of person when my environment is messy, my head feels messy. My phone is on 10%. We love to see it. I also just got in the brand new Moon Milk from Naked Harvest. I am so excited. It is Rocky Road flavored. I usually have it right before bed, but my muscles, let me tell you, are so sore. So sore. I've really been like lifting heavier. And honestly, I've only like recently noticed that I have really grown my glutes quite a lot. And I'm quite proud of myself. So that really didn't have a point, but <laughs> let me actually just feed my animals first. They take priority. This is the moon milk. Rocky Road. I don't know, is Rocky Road an international thing or is it just an Australian thing? It's so weird because Queensland doesn't have daylight savings for some reason. I wish we did. So technically in like Sydney and stuff in New South Wales, it's 6.20 right now. <laughs> You good? See, you're not hungry, are you? I love moon milk. I pretty much have it every single night before bed. It's got so many good ingredients. It's got magnesium. It helps me relax when I'm on my period as well. It helps just kind of soothe my cramps. I haven't tried this yet, by the way. I'm so excited. It's got amino acids in it as well. It is vegan, natural, gluten-free, refined, refined, sugar-free as well. You don't have to have it just before bed. I know it's called moon milk. Sometimes I even... <gasps> Oh my gosh, you're kidding. I can really, oh my God, they've nailed that. You don't have to have it just before bed. It definitely helps me fall asleep, but it's not like a necessity to have before bed. I'm so excited. This little part of my night routine is sponsored by Naked Harvest. Love Naked Harvest. Do you guys remember when I went to the Naked Harvest retreat in February? That feels like yesterday, but equally it feels like so long ago. Wild. Time is so weird. As I'm filming this, I'm pretty sure the flavor hasn't been announced. My favorite flavor of moon milk has been vanilla maple chai, but I have a feeling this could take the cake. My code with Naked Harvest is just Connor, and that'll get you 15% off their website. I'm gonna wait for that stop one. I often have blueberries, like my dessert that I usually have is like frozen blueberries, almond milk, maple syrup, I know it's bizarre, and a bit of moon milk on top. Yum! Oh, you can really taste like 
the gummy aspect or like the lollies in it, if you know what I mean. Ooh, good color. It's kind of the same color as my play suit. I'm just gonna do water and a little bit of milk. I'm so excited. Lovely mix. Taste test. Oh, yum. That is so good. It's not too sweet. Vanilla maple chai is super, super sweet. This is definitely not as sweet, but that's delicious. Yum. I really like that. The taste of that is so good. Not too sweet. It's not not sweet enough. I'm gonna sip on that. Just chill on my phone. Out here, although it's very messy and the couch cushions are just like permanently covered in. Tell me you live with a Rottweiler without telling me you live with a Rottweiler. Hey, I still love you though. You got goobers in your eye. I would take her for a walk, but the sun's going to set any moment, I think. And I don't like walking in the dark. At least when she's a big dog, no one's going to mess with me. She's actually like the best dog ever. I'm sorry. Cuddles with my dog. Like, stop. Wait, you can't even see. Do you guys remember when she was so little? Can you believe she's only five months old? You're a baby. Don't you? She's so clumsy as well. Kisses. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful angel. I honestly think I'm turning into an extrovert. And by extrovert, I mean, hang on. By extrovert, I mean, I feel like I get energy now from hanging out with people. Yeah, settle. That was one of the things we learned at public school, saying settle and like stroke her back because that's what their mums used to do with them. You're a little cutie. I reckon this would be so good as well with like all almond milk. Delicious. I would say it's like the same sweetness as the original moo milk. I also might go to my parents' house tonight I'm not really particularly doing anything. I went through a phase where I would go there a lot <laughs> living here. Lately, I haven't been going as much. I think you just go through phases of doing that. Um, all right, it's now like 6.30. I just got distracted on TikTok for like an hour. Don't know how, this lighting is so unflattering. But I'm gonna head to my parents' house um, and I'm gonna get GYG for dinner. GYG is definitely my go-to like takeout right now or takeaway. Other than that, I usually have pizza for dinner or a big salad or rice paper rolls. But tonight it's Friday. Friday, I'm gonna get GYG. So, Charlie, we're going on an adventure. I will see you when I see you. All right, I just got back to my parents' house. Um, it's now like eight o'clock, so I'm gonna start winding down for the night. Um, I've just taken off all my jewelry and my nail just popped off. So I'm gonna glue that back on. <laughs> That's just gotten all over my finger. like the communal area, I just can't function. <laughs> I'm so full, but I feel like something sweet. I always like having something sweet. I'm gonna have a little bit of this. This is the Tilly's. I think I'm also gonna have some more moon milk. I think that's an order. I just like permanently have my mask around my water bottle now. So I never forget it. These mugs, by the way, are from Ikea. They literally, I think like a dollar or two dollars. And I use a fork. I feel like it mixes in better. It just smells so, so good. I'm gonna let that sit. In the meantime, I'm going to turn off this light. Um, I was listening to Georgia in one of her videos or the podcast and she was saying like the worst thing about being single and like living alone is turning off all the lights at night and I couldn't agree more. I have this sunset lamp. I think I ordered it off TikTok and I kind of love it. Like look at that. It just, that puff thing, it's Charlie. I think I've said this before but I hate like really bright lighting. Like I love sunlight and stuff but in the nighttime I love kind of dim lit 
things like to create a bit of an ambiance so I love having this little lamp and then I've got my salt lamp I can like turn my chandelier down pretty low so it's just nice and not intense and I feel like that helps me get to sleep because there's not all these like bright lights excuse me I'm trying to talk to the camera so I'm gonna get into my pajamas I definitely used to be much more of a night shower but I think just like with working out more in the morning I definitely am a morning shower I would say. I do have like some mascara, but I'm gonna obviously like wash my face and stuff. But yeah, I haven't been wearing makeup nearly as much lately. I think just because my skin's been so amazing, which I'm so grateful for. I'm just like tap on board that this good skin continues. Hey, Charlie. So to take off a little bit of my makeup, I'm gonna use the Genora Melt the Day. Let me wash my hands. Cause they've got puppy dog on them. This stuff is so cool. It comes out like that and then it turns into like a milk. So I'm just gonna use this to get the mascara off, which is a tubing mascara. Like it doesn't make me look like a panda. And then at the moment, I'm really liking the Dermalogica Breakout Firming Wash. Oh, washing your face in the sink is always so messy. So now my face is nice and clean. Um, I've been loving the Genora Go Nightly. And I do about one pump and I'm gonna mix in one pump of the Isle of Paradise, or one drop, should I say. The tanning drops, apply. In. And then you wanna wash your hands because they will go orange. Skincare done. Very simple, sometimes I do like more steps but sometimes less is more, you know? Some new milk. Having a clean kitchen to wake up to, I'll say it again, it's the best. Anytime I do things like this, in my head, I'm just like, single mom who works two jobs. That's on. Just make sure the front door is locked. Turn off the light, ooh, that's creepy. My phone is on very low. One of the best purchases I have ever made in my life, this lighting's cute, is a 10 foot long charging cable. It is the best thing ever. Take my pillows off. That could be my old bedroom. Literally, oh my God. I'm just gonna put my hair up. I got this um, silk scrunchie the other day. Shh, silk. Um, I usually sleep with my hair out, but I'm gonna probably sleep with it in this today. It is very, very oily. Oh, should I put Olaplex in? Nah. Sometimes I'll do that. Like if it's more of like a pampery night, I'll put Olaplex in my hair, braid it, sleep in it, and then I wash it out the next day. Sip on me moon milk. I'm gonna put on some Netflix. And I'm pretty sure the new You is out. So I'm gonna watch the first episode of that. I'm so excited. Previously, on you. Mm -hmm. Hi. This show is insane. Surely everyone has seen it. I typically don't pick out my gym outfit the night before. I should, but I honestly don't. So I'm like, do I even do it in this video for the sake of doing it? I honestly, I don't pick out my outfit. So I'm not gonna do it because I don't do it. I recommend doing it for sure, but I don't do it. So that's tomorrow's me problem. I'm gonna shut the door a little bit. How pretty are my side tables? So cute. Turn off the lamp. Turn off my chandelier. That is terrifying. I'm so excited to watch you. This is very unflattering lighting, but like otherwise. One of my biggest tips to getting to sleep, I would say start winding down earlier than you actually are going to sleep. I would say that's a big thing. So kind of like, I'm not going to sleep now. It's 8.45. I would say I usually fall asleep around 10 or just after 10. It really just depends. Moon Milk really helps me get to sleep. If you don't already set your phone to have the, what's it called? Cause some people don't know this and it's honestly a life changer. It's, you go to display night shift. It basically just turns your phone very warm. I've got mine as high as it can go and you can schedule it. So mine turns on between 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. And it basically in that period, it almost 
So see how the screen is super yellow right now? It almost like does that on your phone and it helps your eyes. So if you're on your technology, which obviously it's not good to be on technology before bed, but you know, we all have our vices. <laughs> but I do find that's a big thing. Sometimes I will listen to some ASMR if I'm quite, if I'm really struggling. I went through a phase where I had to have ASMR no matter what. Um, but now for the past, maybe like two years, I have always have to put on rain noises. Something like that. I just need a little bit of white noise. I also love the sound of like the air conditioning, but I usually set that on a timer so it turns off like just after I fall asleep. It helps me so, so much. So definitely recommend some noises. That's it. Sometimes I will listen to podcasts to fall asleep. Again, I love, I am gonna watch a little bit of Netflix. I went through a phase a few, quite a few months ago now where I really struggled to fall asleep. If your mind is just like, go, 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 it's gonna be very hard to fall asleep. And then in turn, it makes it harder to obviously get up in the morning. If I have a bad night's sleep, there's no way I'm like getting up at a, like early. And I really love waking up early. It's like really important to me. <laughs> Because since I work from home, I don't need to wake up early, but I prefer to wake up early. I like being an early bird. I feel much more productive that way. I'm definitely an early bird and not a night owl. But if you're the other way around, that's so fine. I'm going to chill for the next hour probably or when I get tired and then I'm going to go to sleep. I'm also going to brush my teeth after I have this. But yeah, that's my nighttime routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what other routine videos you want to see because I love filming routine videos. I think they're so fun. Having a good routine in every aspect of your life is great. I thrive in routine. I've been filming for 35 minutes. Oh my gosh. Anyway, and this lighting is so bad, but I'm going to go to bed now and good night. <laughs> I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I will see you in my next one.